Meet the mountain chicken, one of the largest frogs in the world. And on the Caribbean island of Montserrat, it's a delicacy. They're looking similar to the drumstick of the chicken, like, like the drumstick yep. of the wing. You know, you think about the, the chicken wing. Luckily for this mountain chicken, he's been captured by researchers, not hunters. He won't end up on a dinner plate this time. And that's a good thing, since mountain chickens are critically endangered. Today, hunting is discouraged on the island, but it still occurs. And other threats, like habitat destruction and introduced predators, have also taken their toll on Montserrat's mountain chickens. But we can estimate that probably will be a few thousand individuals. Thousand individuals in amphibian populations is a little population. Gerardo Garcia of the Durrell Wildlife Conservation Trust is a mountain chicken expert. So we're talking about you know, right on the edge of the extinction. So it's very important to protect the habitat and monitor all the threats. Together with biologist Don Church of Conservation International and a team of researchers working for the government of Montserrat, he's taking a closer look at the island's mountain chicken population. But she looks in real. So what I'm going to do is to shine the lights in the eye and stun it. Very nice. Pass it over to you. Got it? When they find a frog, they weigh it, examine it, and check for diseases. Those that have been outfitted with microchips are scanned and identified. Yep, no microchip in 2005. So probably new animal. Side. Those that aren't microchipped are photographed for future reference. Finally, the researchers release the frog with a few words of encouragement. You're in perfect health, and I hope to see you again on the next census. Not too long ago, mountain chickens lived on at least seven Caribbean islands. Now, because of habitat destruction, introduced predators, and overhunting, they're found on just two. Montserrat and Dominica. To make matters worse, nearly all of those on Dominica are infected with chytrid, a deadly fungus that's been known to wipe out entire frog populations. So far, Montserrat's mountain chickens are fungus free, but that doesn't mean they're safe. With chytrid, all it takes is for one infected animal to slip in from another island. Don. We're in the port of Montserrat. If any arrival of the chytrid fungus is going to happen, it will probably start here. We have boats that arrive twice a week with fresh vegetables and fruits. Guess where? From Dominica. It would be easy for an infected frog to hitch a ride in a shipment of produce. And once the fungus appears in an amphibian population, there's no way to cure it or stop it. Gerardo thinks it's just a matter of time before the fungus comes to Montserrat, so he and his colleagues are already taking precautions. And this could be their ace in the hole. In the 1990s, a series of volcanic eruptions devastated the southern part of the island. Officials evacuated the area and designated it an exclusion zone, off limits to the public. But that hill you see is still green. All the rest is ashes. Volcano never affect that area so far, and nobody lives there. So there is an opportunity there. So there are no mountain chickens there currently? No night, no night right now. Oh, There's the option that you, know, you can probably move animals, oh. captive breeding program, maybe a translocation of wild animals, and establish a new population on the south of the island. In his lab back in England, Garcia has already established a breeding population of mountain chickens. So in 1998, we collected a group of founders. There were 13 frogs coming directly from Montserrat to develop a safety net population. They now have more than 60 captive bred mountain chickens, all potential founders for the proposed new population within the exclusion zone. Probably will be the last hope for the mountain chickens in Montserrat if something happens in the center of the natural populations. In the meantime, Garcia and his partners will continue working to protect the mountain chickens that remain. 
and for the people of Montserrat, this creature that was once a national dish will hopefully become a national success story as well. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs, taking science and exploration into the new millennium.